welcome back to episode two of the Cactus Quest Guide to Plant Shopping in Arizona. I'm still with my special guest, Kevin, and today we are going into the Euphorbia headquarters, none other than Arid Lands. All right, Lands. guys, we're here at Arid Lands Nursery. We are uh, about to check in with Bob and uh, see what they got going on here. Oh, yeah. Let's go hit it up. Let's come on, it. It. Come on it. inside. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we are at the second location. This is Arid Lands, and honestly, I would say it's, I would call it Euphorbia Lands. Pretty awesome, Bob runs this place. Looks like that way. We're gonna go check it out. Y'all come, come with us, let's go, baby. Okay, so first, for you just been in here for a second, so tell the people, what do you think? First impression. Yeah. Yeah, you got variegated engines. You, you got this. Venata. Venata. Look at all this. You got them catching seed here, of course. Just absolute. Whoa, baby, baby. The tall boys. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, you. I don't need. I don't think I need to explain more. Do I need to say anything else? Honestly, really. <gasps> Look at that baby. <laughs> Crazy, right? Just, Just leave, leave these things. Leave. leave me. You better check his ID. I haven't actually confirmed it's his birthday, Bob. So we don't. He's saying that, but. Okay. So now the wheeling and dealing can begin. <laughs> pretty neat. Ven Venata. Oh, I got a. That's pretty cool. We're Oh, that one's even, God, that's amazing. So, it, it's definitely vain and not. I... Could be a Decepta. Look at that little bad boy. And check this out, this is pretty awesome. Ostrocylindropuntia pachypus. So this, this is actually, this is the only, um, or one of the only, I could be wrong on that, but definitely one of the only, uh, cactus that you can actually propagate from the flower buds and that's what this is here so this is a flower bud that's propagated the fact that it's flowering though does not necessarily mean that it is <clears throat> uh, gonna grow because sometimes they'll just flower again in a last-ditch effort to survive and try to create seed now this here you can see that that appears to be successfully I mean I could be wrong as well but uh, that looks like it's successfully uh, shooting up a, a stem and look, this is their propagation section. So you've got all kinds. I mean, when I say the Euphorbia headquarters, I'm not not playing. These this spot really, really specializes in it. But they've got more than just Euphorbias. They've got a bunch of aloes, and then I'll show you the other greenhouse as well, where they've got the Haworthias and uh, Gasterias and all that kind of stuff. And I think they might have some SMs as well. Check these out, man. Big old. Fat, but that is a fat, happy look at that thing. Look at this guy, the peace symbol. Monodeniums, absolutely stunningly beautiful. Oh, this, this one's the one that Hackett has. The red, the red. Monodenium Shubii purple stem. We got Areocarpus, Retusus, Furfuracious, Fizzeratus Lloydii, Confucius. Look at this one, multiple heads on this Trigonus. That is gorgeous. Another Trigonus, Cachubianus, much smaller one. Elephantipens, Fizzeratus Varloidii. That's probably Intermetus, as I have it as. Fizzeratus Lloydii. Interesting. Wow. You know me, I love a good Areocarpus. So beautiful. I up over from Vista. I had a, have a guy over there that's got a botanic garden. Check out Kevin, nerding out with Bob over these euphorbias. Bob was so cool, man. Such a generous guy. He gave Kevin a plant for his birthday. So you didn't want to look at it. It's starting to produce the same kinds of, of marks on it. They've never done that before. That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. So it's non and then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is... Suyin is a, well, it's a farm that um, the guy that owned it is named Guilford Poets. And Guilford, we got to stay there with Guilford a couple of three times. Unfortunately, a few years ago, Guilford was killed by an elephant on his property. Jesus. Got trampled by it. 
to save the animals, you know, and they trample them. Way to go. Well, for Guilford, it was kind of like fitting. Have you guys, have you ever been seen, shown anything around here? No. Oh. Well, I haven't. Uh, well, let's go this way. Akitangula is from East Africa, up into Ethiopia, probably into Somalia. Ethiopia and Somalia? That's a yeah. super I've seen cool it in, uh, <laughs> Is that, it's it. not... Yeah, some... I've seen Akitangula in northern Kenya. What family is this in? It's Clipiadaceae. Now, what's interesting on this table isn't this shit at all. It's what's down there. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, what is that? Grown... That's Tortorama. Tortorama. Oh, those, those things are huge. That's a big one. It's crazy. Look at this thing. Yeah. So big, it doesn't even look what? like these are all stuff spins. God, look at these things, man! It literally is the size of like a GMO corn. Ton of crested. Yeah, isn't that cool? Whoa! Awesome. Oh, oh, Gymnocalisioi. Uh, yeah, there's five of them. Horwoodii. Wow. Wow. Horwoods. These are the crested horwoods. Uh, this is Euphorbia gymnocalisioides. This is a seed stock for the nursery here, and they're a dioecious plant, so you have to have a male and a female, which is why you'll notice there's sexes on the labels. Turn around, I'm like, what the hell is that? Like a medieval mace. Yeah, I mean, it's just freaking gorgeous. Then, see these guys? Yeah. There's two of them. Those are amicorums. What is this? An aquata. And this Stenoclata. is, this is uh, the spiniest version of Euphorbia stenoclata. They form a nice little bush. No trees. Yeah. Mine over there, my big one, is up about 12 feet tall. They look like uh, snowflakes. It is, uh, we are in the third, I don't know how to count anymore because it's extremely hot. Um, but we're in the third greenhouse, getting a little wiped out, been up since... Three, three in the morning. No, no, that's when we left your house. Oh yeah. So no, I've been awake since somewhere around 1 a.m. And I'm a little tired, but we're gonna go ahead and push through. And I'm gonna show you all the beautiful stuff that they got here. Mammillary dewii, Copia poa tenuissima. What do we got? Look at this. This is a nice little mammillary. Look at those beautiful little, little cutesy woozy flowers. Beautiful assortment of pharaoh cactus. Potsii, pharaoh cactus Santa Maria. I mean, just the, the golden spines with those beautiful pink little flowers. Mammillaria pilcayensis. Pilcayensis. That is a take home for show, baby. Ready to rock and roll, sir. All right, so we just left. And that was epic. I epic? Yeah, I don't know that I've seen any, uh, any better euphorbia than in that place. There was stuff, I keep doing it, but. Mind-boggling. Mind it is mind-boggling. Very, very mind-boggling. All right, on to the next spot.